Most of the work in our laboratory is uh, run by uh, Professor Joanne Fielding, uh, who is an experimental psychologist. And she def defines the, um, the protocols that we use and supervises a lot of the laboratory work. At this stage, we have several directions. We have a significant imaging study uh, that is taking place on a 70 uh, MRI, which is uh, a more powerful MRI than has hitherto been used. And we're getting as much access to that as we possibly can. This is an ongoing study. It is time consuming, not so much in terms of the actual recordings themselves, but in terms of the data analysis. Uh, and that requires that we have people who are specifically trained in doing that and uh, finding them and funding them is, is a significant issue. Uh, we are proceeding with integrated uh, experiments whereby we will be looking at eye tracking experiments within the MRI machine. Uh, we are also trying to define some of the ancillary symptoms. We all talk about visual snow and we know people are recognized because they have spots in front of their eyes but every patient out there knows that they have a lot of other symptoms. And the, the, the key symptoms are the uh, light sensitivity, the persistence of images, poor vision at night, but they also know that there are a lot of other symptoms that are associated, tinnitus. Some people have pins and needles, depersonalization. These are not necessary for the diagnosis of visual snow syndrome, but they are a significant cause of discomfort and we are trying to extend our research into those areas to see how they fit in with visual snow syndrome as such and whether or not the therapies we develop have any significant effect on them. That's essentially what we're going to be doing over the next 12 months.